Sesame Street Show 76 in color. Speaking of people, look at that people. Hello, people, how are you? Hi. Um, Bob's gonna be here. Uh, Oscar's gonna be here. Susan, Mr. Hooper. There's a full house, everybody's coming. <laughs> Speaking of it, Oscar, though. Uh, I haven't seen him yet, have you? No. Wanna go see him? Sure. All right, stiff upper lip. Keep her heart in there, let's go see him. Oscar! Uh, that does it, I've had it. All right, how's everything, Oscar? Crummy. That's how everything is. Same as usual, huh? No, not the same as usual. No? Uh, usually I'm just good and grouchy, but today I am fed up. Well, what's wrong? What's wrong? Mm -hmm. I'll show you what's wrong. Uh, look, I'm going back inside my can, and yeah. you pretend that you want to talk to me, and you'll hear what's wrong. Yeah. Uh, that's what's wrong. That terrible sound of somebody knocking on my trash can lid. I mean, it's bad enough to have to come out of my trash can at all, but to have somebody bang away on metal three inches from my head, it's enough to give me a headache. Whew. Bang, 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 rattle, rattle, rattle. It's enough to drive you nuts. Oh, well, Oscar, uh, gee, I didn't know you felt that way about it. Well... You didn't. Uh, how do you think you'd feel if somebody banged on a trash can lid three inches away from your head every time they wanted to talk to you? Yeah, well, well I guess I never thought of it that way, Oscar. It's, it's well, right. you should try putting yourself in a grouch's place sometime. Hmm. All I can say is, from now on, there will be no knocking on my lid. Got it? Uh, yeah, I got that, Oscar. But I mean, what are we going to do when we want to talk to you? Well, I don't know. But I'll think of something. No more knocking on my lid now, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. You got it? Got it. All right. Yeah. All right? All right. All right. All right. Wow. One, two, three, four.
Raspberry pudding, dessert. I tried to get Gordon a sweater for school, but they didn't have his size. Oh, while we're out here, let's stop and say hi to Oscar. Uh-oh, here's a great big sign. Do not underline. Knock on the trash can lid. Now, how are we going to let him know we're here? Oh, yeah. Oh, here's another sign. If you won't go away without seeing me, ring the bell. <laughs> Oscar got him a Salvador. Oh, let's ring it. I okay. can't wait to hear what this sounds like. It's a pretty sound. This is really a nice sounding Dorva. <laughs> What do you want? Well, hello, Oscar. We just came by to say hi, but gee, we like your doorbell. That's a great sound. You think so? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not crazy about it. Oh, no? No, nah, it's not a very pretty sound. Oh, I don't agree. I think it's very nice. Well, it is better than having someone bang on a trash can lid just above your head, you know? Yeah, well, I suppose mm. so. Well, we just came by to say hello. Well, do me just one little favor. What's that? Don't ring my bell unless it's something important. Okay? Oh, oh, okay, right. Oscar. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I did like the doorbell. Mr. Hooper. Hi, Susan. You know what? Have you heard Oscar's new doorbell? New doorbell? No, uh, I haven't. It has a doorbell, and it really sounds very nice. I oh. think you ought to try it. Oh, in that case, I will. I'll Go try ahead. it. I'll try it right now. <laughs> That's a lovely sound. Ugh. Two times in two minutes. Oh, Oscar. What is this? Oscar, that's quite a doorbell. That's a, that's a beautiful sound. Well, I don't think it has a lovely sound. Beautiful or nothing. I don't like to hear it. And I don't like people visiting me. But I... Now, what else do you want? Nothing else. I just thought I'd ring your doorbell. That's all. I'll see you later. Oh, the people around here are too much. Hi, Mr. Wilson. Hi, do Gee, I wonder what's wrong with... Do not knock on trash can ring bell. Ring bell. Wow, listen to that doorbell. It's beautiful. Hey, that's a really... One more time, and it's going to be trouble. Hey, Oscar, that is a fantastic doorbell. It's great. I love it. It's a, it's a beautiful sound. I love it. Hey, Bob, will you do me a favor? Of course, Oscar, anything. Well, what is it? Go away! Come on, Oscar. Hey, Gordon, come here. Yeah, hey, yeah. get a load of this. Oscar has a new doorbell on his trash can. Oh, How yeah? About, yeah, <laughs> and if you want to hear it, it, it's a great sound. Just push that button right there. Give it a try. Don't you dare. I'm sick of that ding dong, ding dong anyway. <laughs> and, and three times in the last three minutes, people have ding donged on my bell. <laughs> but that's more times than people knock on my lid in a whole day. I hate that ugly ding dong. But, but, but Oscar, it's a great sound. I love it. It's really nice. It's an ugly sound, Bob. It doesn't sound the way a grouch's doorbell should sound. But, now, why don't you just go away, and I'm going to attach a new sound to my doorbell. Oh, I A really good sound. And then you can ring it all you like. But, but, now, you come back in a few minutes, and I'll have a really nice sounding doorbell. But, Oscar, come on, please, l l let Gordon try it at least once before you change it, okay? Because yeah, it, it's let great. Hear, let me on. hear it one time. Let me hear it one time. Okay? Come on, Oscar. Let me hear it one time. Come on. Be a, be a good come on, crowd, come on, Oscar. Come on, Come on, Come on, Oscar. All right. You okay. might as well. Let me hear it one time. It'll be the last time you'll hear it anyway. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Go Here we it. go. Here we go. I mean, listen. Oh, Isn't man. That... That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Great sounding door. Listen, I've, oh. I've never heard anything like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight. Seven, eight. 
the nicest sounding doorbell on Sesame Street. Wait till you hear it. It's beautiful. Oh, Gordon. Susan. Yeah. Bob. Mr. Yeah. Hooper. Everybody. Come and listen to my doorbell. Oh, nice sounding doorbell. 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 I loved it before. I did, too. I really liked it. Well, I fixed it. My doorbell sounds so nice. That now I won't even mind having people ring my bell. I don't well, see how it could be nicer than the one before. No. I, I like agree. the one before, too, Mr. Nah, it was nice. It was ugly before, but now it's great. Okay, Susan, you can be the first one to ring my new doorbell. Me? Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. here Can't goes, wait to hear this one. Yeah, me too. Oh, 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 that's oh, that's oh, that's that's terrible. terrible. <laughs> 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 That was beautiful, wasn't it? Did you ever hear a nicer doorbell? Oh, beautiful, yeah. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Right, Anytime cool. you want to see me, just ring my doorbell and I'll hear that lovely sound and come up to see you. Well, I tell you, Oscar, the way that doorbell sounds right now, I doubt if anyone will ever ring it. No, nobody's going to come to see you anymore. I must nobody. only think twice before I ring it and hear all that. Right. <laughs> you know, you know. See, right? that's the nicest thing anybody said to me all day. Maybe now I can get a little peace and quiet. So just remember, when you want me, just come and push the little button, and you'll hear my pretty little doorbell ring. like this. I I I I Eating a peach, sitting on my ego, chasing a beagle, to the queen on her knee, under a tree, by the sea. She was looking for her Easter egg, having a dream about eating ice cream in the land of steam. When a baby seal tickled her heel, she let out a squeal. Woke from her dream in time to see the eagle and me flying away with the Easter egg over the evening sea. <laughs> e. E. Hey, Bert, old buddy. Hey, Bert, I got a question for you. Oops. Old buddy Bert is reading a newspaper. I, I was going to ask him a question, but it's very bad to ask someone a question while they're reading a newspaper. Newspaper reading should not be interrupted by question asking. But, uh, <clears throat> what, what I will do, what I will do is this. I will wait until Bert is through reading his newspaper, because that is the polite thing to do, you know. I mean, that is the polite thing to do. Because question asking should be done after newspaper reading is finished. <clears throat> <laughs> Mm-hmm. 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 Excuse me. Uh, 
you know, singing, singing and humming are fun to do, but I do not think I will sing and hum just now because it might bother, it might bother old buddy Bert here who's trying to read his newspaper. So I will let him finish reading his newspaper and then I will ask him my very, <clears throat> then I will ask him my very important question. But uh, while, I'm, while I'm waiting, I'll play with the toy. This is, this is my rubber ducky. Hello there, rubber ducky. Oh, I'm fine. And, uh, but you shouldn't quack so loudly because old buddy Bert is reading his newspaper. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, I'm waiting to ask him a question. Oh, no, no, no. I do not want to bother him. Well, Ernie! I... Uh, yes, sir. Ask your question! Um, oh, well, I'll, I'll ask you later, Bert. No, 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 ask me right now. Oh, no, no, no. See, I don't want to bother you until you've finished reading your newspaper. Okay, okay, I finished reading my newspaper. Now ask me. Oh, oh well, you, you, you sure? Yeah. Because it would be impolite to ask you a question while you're still reading your newspaper. Ernie, ask your question. You sure? Yes! Okay, here's the question. Bert? Yes? Can I borrow your newspaper? This is the story of the Diamond D and the Dangerous Dragon. Now, there are a lot of D words in this story, so you listen very carefully for them. Once upon a time, there lived in a castle a very dignified duke. Yes, Duke David is my name. You know, I have a daughter named Dora, who is a delightful damsel. Here comes Dora, dancing through the door. She's wearing a dress with, with daisies on it. Hello, Daddy. Uh, Dora, my delightful daughter, I have a present for you <gasps> because you are so delightful. Aw, oh, do tell, Daddy. Here is a letter D. <gasps> made of solid diamonds. You may wear it around your neck. It stands for Dora. It also stands for delightful. Dora, may I put the bracelet around your delightful neck? Oh, please do, yes. Okay, thank you, Duke. Yes. Just put it around your neck, and you'll look absolutely beautiful. Oh, yes, I'm sure. There. Oh, it's dandy. Do you love it? Yes. And with that, Duke David departed. Through the door. The door. Oh. That's another good D word. And don't you forget it. <laughs> okay, Duke. And Dora danced out, too. la me -de fella de -de. I'm going into the garden to dance around and dig the day. You do that, Dora. Now, neither the Duke nor Dora knew that someone else lived in their castle. His name was Donald. Ha, ha, ha! And Donald was a dragon. I am Donald, the dangerous dragon. Now, Donald the Dangerous Dragon lived in a dungeon under the house. Yeah, it's a deep dungeon. It's a deep, dark dungeon. It's a deep, dark, damp dungeon. It's a deep, dark, damp, dusty dungeon. It's a deep, dark, damp, dusty, depressing dungeon. It's a deep, dark, damp, dusty, depressing, disorderly dungeon. It's a deep, dark, damp, depressing, disorderly, disgusting dungeon. Is that enough of that? Definitely. Good. Now, the best thing that you could say about Donald, the mm -hmm. dangerous dragon, was that, uh, well, he used a lot of D words. Otherwise, he wasn't really very nice at all. Doggone right. And right now I'm here to steal that pretty diamond D, which Duke David gave to his daughter Dora. <laughs> and here she comes now. <laughs> now, Dora, Duke David's daughter, danced to the door and saw Donald, the dangerous dragon. And she said, Well, hello, little doggy. Doggy? Doggy, that's what I said. <clears throat> uh, listen, uh, Dora, dignified Duke David's daughter, thinks that I, Donald the Dangerous Dragon, am a doggy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Dora, Duke David's daughter, is a dummy. My goodness, you are the 
cleverest little doggy I have ever seen. Excuse me. Not only is she a dummy, she's also a ding-a-ling. If you will come and live in our house, little doggy, I will give you this diamond D, which my daddy gave to me. Oh, yeah? Yes. I didn't think I'd get it that easily. But just then, in came dignified Duke David. He was carrying a stick. Oh, no. Carrying a stick may not be dignified for a duke, but it comes in handy when you meet a dangerous dragon. Oh, oh, dragon, dragon, oh, oh, and with that, dragon. Duke David chased the dragon Donald all around the grounds. The dragon ducked, and he dodged, and he darted. And finally, the duke dumped the dragon in the duck pond. Done. I don't know. He sure looked like a doggy to me. So to punish Donald, the Duke made the following decree. From now on, this dangerous dragon has to live in a dog house, eat dog biscuits, and play like a doggy to amuse my daughter. Or else. Or else what? Or else I'll dump you in the duck pond again. Oh, bow wow. And so Dora, the Duke's daughter, uh -huh. and David, the dignified Duke, and their not so dangerous doggy Donald uh. lived happily ever after. And I'll bet that you didn't even know there were so many D words, did you? Raphael, you're riding on a donkey. I know. Or you're sitting rather on a donkey. I know. And our donkey's name is Randy. I know. You know that too? Do you know the donkey has a shorter mane than a horse? I know. You do? What about the donkey's tail? His tail is shorter. It's shorter too. And what about his ears? His ears are longer. They sure are longer. Right. Well, you, can you tell me anything about a donkey? Well, a donkey has a, lo a longer tail. It, it has ears that goes up a little higher. Yes. What about uh, the donkey? The donkey's ability to carry a pack. I know. See, up long, mountains. A long time ago, they used to have these, and, and they had string, and they had heavy packages. Yes, they yes. Could, they couldn't carry it. And they're very sure-footed, aren't they? Huh? They can go up mountains, narrow well, paths. I know. They're you, can ri you can ride a donkey, too, huh? Well, what were you going to say? I cut you. You're going to say what? Um, a donkey's feet are a little smaller than a horse. They sure are. You know how you measure a donkey? by hands, huh? And each hand represents four inches. So if you want to get the height of this donkey, you measure it by a hand, huh? And this not donkey is... Ruler. Not by ruler, no. Well, you too, but the expression is, how many hands tall is it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. This animal is a donkey. A donkey begins with the letter D. What's happening, man? I was about to ask you the same question. What's that? I don't know, but it sure is fat. It's the letter D. The what? The letter D. Oh. Like to hear a story about the letter D, boys? Do we have any choice? No. Late last week, a real old dog went out digging in a terrible fog found some dice on a hollow log and won a duck from the friendly frog. He walked along till he spotted a door, dropped his duck down on the floor, found a dime and bought a dinosaur. Dinosaur? So that's the letter D. Boy, sure it's fat. 
Do you know what else we learn, boys? No. If you dig a dinosaur, drop your duck for a dime. One, two, three, four. finished here, Big Bird, but you know what? I have to run to the store, and I would really appreciate your help while I'm gone. I have a little job here for you. Me help? Yeah. Me, Susan? Would you do that? Oh, I'd love to help. I have an empty salt shaker and the salt box, and I'd like you to fill the salt shaker for me while I'm gone, okay? Oh, sure. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. Would oh, you like no. anything from the store? No, no, Susan. I'm just happy to be able to help. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Let's see. Gee. I've never filled a salt shaker before, but that should be easy. I just take the salt and put it into the shaker. From here to here. Uh-oh. Oh, look at this. Hmm. Those holes look awfully little. How am I going to get the salt through those little holes? Well, Big Bird is going to try. Let's see. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Uh oh, oh no, that doesn't work. I think I was pouring it in too fast. You've got to do these things slowly. It still doesn't go in. <clears throat> Maybe I'm not doing it fast enough. Well, watch this. Ready? Countdown. Three, two, one, blast off. There she. Uh, uh, it doesn't go in. Maybe that's how. You shouldn't put salt in. Maybe I should put it in one at a time. That's probably how it's supposed to be done. But how am I going to pick up those little pieces of salt? Unless there's some kind of tool for that. Let me look in the drawer. Ah! These must be salt tongs. <laughs> ah! One went in. <laughs> I got one in. Another one? There. Boy, this is going to take all day. But if I can help Susan, I'm going to help Susan. 
How's it going, Big Bird? Oh, oh pretty good. Oh, what happened? Will? You see, I tried pouring the salt in, you see, but uh -huh. it doesn't go in that way. So I'm putting it in one at a time. Well, that's one way to do it, dear, but let me show you a much easier way, okay? Mm. Now, first, you unscrew the top of the salt shaker, you <gasps> see, and then you have a much bigger opening. I didn't and know then you Yeah, I know you didn't. Well, next time you'll know. Then you just pour it in like that, see? Isn't that much easier? Mm. Yeah. I sure was a big help to you, wasn't I? Well, that's quite all right. You can still be a big help. If you'll go right over there in the, in the cupboard and get me the broom and the dustpan, we'll finish cleaning the kitchen, okay? Wow, I can help. Yeah, go <laughs> right over there. <laughs> I got it. I got it. What have they got? The mumps? Ha. No, 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 Bert. I got the alphabet. You got... Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, Ernie. Oh, no. No, sir, you're not going to catch me in that. No more stupid jokes for me. No, no, -uh. no. It's not a joke, Bert. Honest, I got the alphabet where I can say it forwards and backwards. You? The alphabet? Forwards and backwards? Mm -hmm. Ha! Come no, come on. Come on. Come on over here. I'll show you. Now, look. No, look, come, Ernie, come if this right is here. another one of your stupid no. jokes, I'm telling no, no. you, I'm not going to go look. for it. No, take a look at this. See, there's the alphabet up there, right? Yeah. Okay, now you stand right there, and All I'm right. going to say it both forwards and backwards. All right. Okay, now first I'm going to say it forwards. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. First letter is A. And Good the second, second letter, yes, yeah, second letter is, is, uh, <clears throat> wait a minute. Second letter is B. Yeah. And then comes a, uh, C. Yeah. And then... Oh no. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, can you give me a hint, Bert? No. Just a little hint? Oh, all right. Now, it's the first letter in the word dinosaur. Oh. Dinosaur. 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 Right. Uh. What's happening, man? I was about to ask you the same question. What's that? I don't know, but it sure is fat. It's the letter D. The what? The letter D. Oh. Like to hear a story about the letter D, boys? Do we have any choice? No. Late last week, a real old dog went out digging in a terrible fog, found some dice on a hollow log, and won a duck from a friendly frog. He walked along till he spotted a door, dropped his duck down on the floor, found a dime and bought a dinosaur. Dinosaur? So that's the letter D. Boy, it sure is fat. Do you know what else we learn, boys? No. If you dig a dinosaur, drop your duck for a dime. A dinosaur, dinosaur. Uh, dinosaur, it's dine, 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 du, 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 dinosaur, du, D, D, right? A, B, C, D, right, Bert? Right. <laughs> and you're going to say the whole alphabet forwards and backwards, huh, Ernie? Yep, yep, I am. <laughs> okay, what's the next letter? Okay, after A, B, C, D, uh, E, yeah. E, then uh, there comes an F, then uh, let's see, G, H, I, J, yeah. K, L, uh, H, I, J, K, L. Yeah, you said that. L. Yeah. Uh, give me a hint, Bert. Oh, all right. Last hint, though. Uh -huh. It's the first letter in the word male. You mean male? Male. This is Martha. Marvelous Martha, her mother calls her because Martha can print her own name. Well, she knows the first letter. M. Marvelous, Martha. M, M, M. M, 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 Martha. Martha? M. How do you make an M, Martha? Ah. A straight line up, another down, another up, another down. M. 
And look, a little M2. Martha knows M is for March. M is for Muse. And for Man. M is for Melt. Meow. And Man. And what's that? <laughs> Munching. M is for mustache and mud. And M is for metal, too. But most of all, M is for Martha. Marvelous Martha. M, 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 M. Me. Male, male. M, M, huh? Right. M, uh, N, O, O, P. Yeah. Q. Yeah. Uh, Q, R, S, S, T, T. Yeah, yeah. T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. There. I did it, Bert. I did the whole alphabet. I said the whole hold alphabet. It, hold it, Ernie. Ernie. What? You said you do the alphabet forwards and backwards. Now, that mm -hmm. was just forwards. What? Let's see you do it backwards. Oh, ha. that's easy, Bert. That's easy. See, I did the alphabet forwards. That's yeah. standing like this. That's forward, see? And now I'll turn around backwards, and that's like this, and then I'll do the alphabet backwards. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Nippy-nappy-noopy-la-la-la-la-la 
Saba sebi saba, nevi abe naba, le lo lo lo. Tubi ubi waba, nubi abe naba, early morning singing song. Singing a song, humming a song, singing a song. Tubi ubi waba, loving a song. Humming a song, singing a song. La, 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 la. Sing the song, song the city, song, 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 sing, 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 sing song. La, Morning. It's it's the beginning of a new day. Raphael and Vanessa, you remember when Oscar was uh, all hung up about the sounds? Yeah. Somebody bang, 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 he didn't like that kind of sound, so he got one doorbell and that made a sound that was too pretty for him, right? Yeah. And then he got another sound that nobody else liked, but he liked, right? Yeah. Okay, well that shows you how important sounds are. So I'm gonna give you a little test. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Okay, yeah. now you're gonna listen to some sounds, and one of the sounds that you listen to will be different from the others, but you have to wait until they're all finished before you tell me, okay? Mm -hmm. Did you understand that? Mm -hmm. You ready? Ready on the left over there? Are you really? You ready? Okay, here's the first sound. Listen. Okay, don't tell me anything. Just listen again. Here's the next sound. Listen. Okay, you heard that one, right? Here's the next sound. Listen to this. Okay? Mm-hmm. Now, here's the next sound. Listen to this one. Okay. Now, you tell me which one of those sounds that you heard was not like the others. I know. Go ahead. Um, when, when it went, ooh, it sounds like, um, a wolf. Sound like a wolf. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, it may have sounded like a wolf. That's not too far the off. Cat. The cat, you heard a cat. Yeah. And what were the other ones? Dogs. Dogs, or it could have been a wolf. It could have, because yeah. dogs and wolves sound a little bit alike, okay? The cat was the right one. Here's the next one. Let's listen to this sound. Oh, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Okay, now hold on. Let's listen to this sound. Okay, and let's listen to this sound. Hmm. Hmm. No, okay, let's listen to this sound. Hmm. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Now, which one? Which one was different? Which one of those sounds was not like the others? I know. You do. Tell me, Raphael. The whistle? Yeah. Well, you were getting ready to say something else. Mm -hmm. Right? No, I wasn't. <laughs> you were? <laughs> Weren't you getting ready to say flute? Right. Mm -hmm. Huh? Flute sounds different than all of them. Okay. Yeah. Now, okay, Vanessa, you fill I it out. Now, what, was, what were the other sounds? Drums. Drums. That's very good. You got them all right. The 
This is Mark. He has a pair of magic glasses. When Mark hears a noise, he puts his magic glasses on. If you can make these noises. Ding a ling a ling a ling a ding a ling a ling a ling a Now it's your turn. Ruff ruff. Clippity clock. Ding ding. Well, it's time for my nap. You know, naps are nice things, especially if you've got a nice, big, soft, cuddly, fluffy pillow here, like I do. And I do. I'm so... <coughs> just climb into... <coughs> bed here. It sounded like the uh, the bell of a fire engine. Huh. Well, I'll go to the window and see if that was a fire engine bell. Ah, bellow. On second thought, ah. if it was a bell of the fire engine, I'd still be hearing it. So I guess it wasn't on a fire engine. So I can go back to <coughs> my nap again. <sighs> hmm. The bell again, the bell again. Maybe it was the telephone, the telephone. I will go answer the telephone. <laughs> oh, pillow. But if it was the telephone, ah. Bert would have answered it. So it wasn't the telephone, which means I can go back to my nap and my nice big, soft, fluffy pillow. <laughs> <sighs> 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 Uh, the doorbell, the doorbell, must be the doorbell. I will go answer the doorbell. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Pillow! Ah, pillow! Nobody was at the door. <gasps> hey! 
What are you doing? What? What are you doing with my pillow? Oh, nice, big, cuddly, soft pillow. I know it's a nice, oh. big, cuddly, soft pillow, but that's my nice, big, cuddly, soft pillow, and you've got to oh. give it back to me. I want the pillow. I want the pillow. Ah, the pillow. Ah, 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 ah the pillow. Uh, okay, I, I tell you what. What? How about this? What? Suppose we share it. Share? You know, share. You know what that means. Oh, that, share. That means, that means you take half and I take half. Okay. 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 I have half, yeah. and you have half. Yeah, but... Um, um, um. Oh, 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 what? Is your half? Yeah, but... Oh, oh, yeah, but... oh, it's good. Eat, eat, eat. Oh, good. But... Oh, boy. Oh, 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 pillow, oh, pillow, oh, fluffy. Oh, oh, how you like it? Oh, 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 good. Oh, oh, oh. One strawberry ice cream soda coming up. Here you are. Yep. <laughs> you got it. I can't get it. Just grab the top. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There you are. <laughs> I couldn't get it. You know, there are a lot of things go into make one strawberry ice cream soda. Strawberry ice cream, syrup, milk, soda water. All these things are parts of one ice cream soda. People have parts. Oh boy, we have lots of parts. And all those parts together go to make one whole person. Like you or me. The other day, I was watering the flowers in our backyard, and my brother came out with a surprise. Hey, look what I got. What is it? A jigsaw puzzle. Oh, good. Let's do it. It was the biggest jigsaw puzzle I ever saw. Each piece was a different part of the body to make a picture of a little boy at the beach. This is the leg. This is another leg. First we put in the legs. This is another leg. And then the feet. This is a foot. This is a foot. This is another foot. This is a hand. Then the hands. This is another hand. This is an arm. Then the arms. This is an arm. This is another arm. This is a body. The body. And this is a body. And the head. This is a head. Then we took all the pieces out again. Can you name them? This is a leg. This is another leg. This is a foot. This is another foot. This is a hand. This is a mother hand. This is an arm. This is another arm. This is a body. And this is a head. <laughs> Look at that silly brother of mine. He thinks he's a jigsaw puzzle. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Down. <laughs> Vanessa, when I asked you what the difference was between these two, what'd you tell me? Um, well, the... Oh, the come on, tell me what you told me. What was different about it? The last thing you told me. This one is bigger. Now, that's not what it was. <laughs> it was the last <laughs> thing you told me. Come on. Uh, Remember? Uh, God, they you can were say. Different colors. No, that wasn't. No. That. <laughs> Don't you remember? No. You said they smell yeah. differently. Isn't that what you said? Yes. All right, that's one difference they do. And this is um, our donkey friend that Mr. Hooper had. But now we've got a Shetland pony. And Shetland Pony's name is Billy. Donkey's name is Randy. Now, that's one difference in names. But we can see which one is bigger than the other, right? Right. The donkey is the... Go ahead, Carlos. What are you going to say? Well, that one's got bigger ears. That one has bigger ears. The donkey has bigger ears than the Shetland Pony has. The uh, Shetland Pony, though, is smaller mm -hmm. in, in its whole size than the um, Shetland Pony, than the... Um, Donkey. And they're both, uh, they're both very strong, though. The Shetland Pony has a history of being very durable. Could really work hard for a long time. Used to work down at coal mines in England. Those Shetland Pony. Strong. They make very good pets, though. They call it the Shetland Pony because it sheds. No, they don't call it Shetland Pony <laughs> because it sheds. It's called that because of where it comes from, over in Great Britain. They're really, they're, this one, the donkey, is 12 years old. And the Shetland pony is, he's a youngster, he's only eight years old. Well, I'll tell you, Billy, Randy, Vanessa, and Carlos. We're all going to have to say a little quick goodbye. And tell everybody to come back and join us on Sesame Street whenever they can. Okay? Bye. 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 Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letters D, E, and M. And by the numbers 8 and 9. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. This is NET, the Public Television Network.